Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, our first, first guest is a dear friend of mine and a great chef. And that's the last compliment I'm going to give him. Uh, <laughs> Now he stars, thank you front row for laughing at that. Now he stars in the new cooking show, Morimoto's Sushi Master on Roku channel. Uh, look at this preview. Sushi. 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 Mm, bring it. This competition is about understanding the fundamentals and traditions in sushi and Japanese cuisine. And using your own styles as a chef to make something truly amazing. Morimoto. Definitely in awe right now. I grew up watching him. He's a legend, the best Japanese chef out there. Since I just opened a sushi restaurant, I'm so excited. You don't even know how happy I am to be competing with another female chef. We like pretty. Japanese food is about being pretty. He's going to have to come by and approve my work before I can move on. It's OK, chef. No comment. OK. <laughs> this could be anyone's game. Sushi has a lot of rules. Let's break sushi rules. I really want this. I'm ready. This is going to be really fun. <laughs> Looks great. Morimoto's Sushi Master is available for free on the Roku channel. Audience, give it up for my friend, the great chef John Sigamora. <laughs> my buddy. Good to be here. I had to speak it dramatically like the show does. Anyway, how you doing, buddy? Good. I'm very well. Thanks I'm not going to sit here act like we're not friends. We are no. friends. Thank you, you um, you're looking good. Thank you look you. good on that television. Thank you. You, you look, you belong. Go oh, ahead. Watch. He's going to take it away and just. No, I'm, I'm, I told that's, I'm going to give you a couple more compliments. Okay. No. Will you tell the folks at home um, uh, uh, how big, if they are not familiar with Chef Morimoto, how giant he is? There is nobody bigger no. than Morimoto. One of the first Iron Chefs in the United States, Iron Chef Japan. By any standard, anywhere in the world, he is the top of yeah. the list. The very, very top of the list, even above all uh, Western chefs. He's it. He's it. And he has amazing restaurants. He has amazing restaurants. I, I, I was I, at his Kyoto restaurant. Were you? Yes, it was, it was amazing. I frequent the Disney Spring ones quite often. Yeah. Not quite the same. Well, it is the same, John. Florida, anyway. Kyoto, Japan. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> okay, you got me. Orlando. You got me, fine, okay. fine. Okay, now let's, so now they know who Morimoto is. Talk about the format of this show and how you're involved. What do you do? It is a <laughs> typical Iron Chef competition okay. show. It is an elimination show. They, there's nothing new as far as the formula for the show other than for the first time ever in history of cooking shows, there's never been a Japanese themed <gasps> show. I was going to ask that. So with the exception, so a couple of years ago, I did Guy's Grocery Games, and I really held out for Guy's Grocery Games and Food Network till they came around and they did an all Asian showdown. It was not sushi, it was Japanese cuisine. So a little bit different, but this one really ramped it up a lot. And I, I thought so. When I saw your announcement, I thought, I haven't, and look, cooking shows, you know this, there's been a cooking show for everything. Right. I mean, you know, is it cake, is it, but this seemed really different. Now, what do you do? So I am one of the contestants. I am one of the contestants. Oh, see, I thought you were a mentor. Not there. See, now, I, wait for next see, season. See, that was a compliment. Wait for next season. See, I was wait giving for next season. You never know. OK. Uh -oh. Yeah. You never know. Um, but no, I'm one of the eight contestants. Um, there are from all over the country with a diverse background of experience and training for Japanese food, particularly sushi. Some extreme, some minimal, and that's what they were trying to demystify. I think they were trying to demystify sushi and make it approachable for everyone so people can walk away and find a place on the show. You mentioned you've done other shows before. How hard was this? So, and was it harder than you expected? Because you know TV, again, you've done, you've been in a studio, you've done, what, what was the level of pressure like on this one? It was a series. So originally when we went on, it was even going to be more than six episodes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we were in California for weeks, not hours or days. That made it really hard. Sleeping in a hotel, you have to switch hotels because of bed bugs, you know, midway through. 
going across the parking lot and eating at Olive Garden because you don't have any more energy. Maybe Panda Express. Yeah, it was really a glorious, really high-end experience. There was a Taco John, Bell. I love Panda Express. I ate a hot yeah. dog at a Home Depot one day. Look oh, at yeah. you! I know. You ate a hot dog at a Home Depot? <laughs> I did. It was really, it was, I love the bar it. was low. You had bed bugs, though? Yeah, we oh really did. Oh, my God. We really did. Is that covered on the show? No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I, you know what's funny is, and I do mean this, I consider you like a Yoda. So I want to ask, how intimidating it was it for you to be with Morimoto, who literally is Obi-Wan? Mm -hmm. I mean, he is Yoda. Thank you for that reference. Yeah, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Yeah. Um, so here's the thing. It could have been hugely difficult. It could have been hugely overwhelming. It could have been uh, really anxiety driven. But first, within 30 seconds of walking into the studio on day one, he came around to us, all of our kitchens, and either gave us knuckles or high five or a hug or something. Changed the whole dynamic from that point on. Because you can imagine, he could have been up, you know, up in front, and we have to go, like in culinary school, we had to be in the line when the master teacher walked in, do a little bow, lots of formalities, lots of pomp and circumstance. It wasn't like that at the beginning. Changed everything from that point on. That doesn't surprise me, because don't laugh. He was there one day when I was at, he was at Morimoto in Disney Springs. He was at the restaurant. Uh, one of those three times a year he's required to be in the restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice subtle shade. But anyway, <laughs> he was there and he came over to our table yep. and he was delightful. And you can't fake that. You can tell when it's put on. It was not put on with him. It is not. He's a genuinely nice, uh, caring, authentic uh, person. And he probably gave me, if you want to know it now, he gave me the most spectacular compliment that will ever be for my entire career. Hold that thought. Hold that compliment. Are you going to tell it on the other side of the break? Or we have to wait to watch the show. I don't know. You're telling me what to do. So I guess I just have to follow you. You have your to lead. wait. You have to wait. Okay. Plus, we're going to go in the kitchen. John's cooking too when we return. Back in a moment. John Sigamora, and we're making some food. But first, uh, executive producer Jeff brought this up in the break, and I think it's great. The, 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 I'm sure the perception is when people hear Japanese cuisine, they just think just sushi, but that's not the case. It's very broad. It's very broad, and the dish that we're doing today, which won episode two. Oh. Top honors. Oh. We made it, I think I won both competitions in episode two. Okay, in don't the brag. Same day. Don't brag. Okay, now just. Um, so, but yes, no, so we're eating, we're doing popular Japanese food as well on the show with all of a twist tying it back to your skill as a sushi chef. Um, just reel me this. I don't want to ruin the surprise for anybody. Just answer me this. Are you happy with how you did throughout the season on the show? I am very happy how I did on the show. There's six episodes. Okay. I was in one. I was in two. I was in three. I was in four. I was in five and you still see me in six. How's that? Good. Does that help? Okay, so this is this one, episode two. What are we this making? Is, so we're making gyodon, which is a spicy beef bowl. Gyodon. It's, it's the most popular spicy bowl, spicy anything. Spice is not a big thing in Japan, but this one is. It's the most popular rice bowl in all of Japan right now. You want to help make it? I do, yeah. All right. Follow directions. Just I listen. know. I'll, I'll no freestyling. I know. I no know. Free. Okay, I'll, I'll follow instructions. This is garlic. Garlic. Put it in the pan. Okay, how much? Just all. Get it, all of it. Pre measured. Okay. Math okay. is hard. Yeah, I know. Ginger. Ginger. All, all of it. it. Okay. There you go. Dry ingredients. I have a little bit of starch, salt, pepper, and sugar. All of it. All of it in there. Okay. And then our wet ingredients right there is our soy sauce, chili oil, and sesame. I'm going to quick mix I this up. I love chili oil. Yes. Yeah. So all you get is a, a tr just basic ground beef here. You have the purple ca or the cabbage in here to thin out the meat. I know this is such a cliche when you hear this on like daytime talk shows, but I really do wish y'all had smell o vision because it real it just smells so good, John. Okay. There you go. So I'm not going to make this super hot. I'm going to make it a variety of temperatures so Miss Kendall can enjoy it. I want her to be able to try it. She'll, Everybody's important. Girl, unless that thing was on fire, Kendall would enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, believe me. So there's all of our ingredients here. I'm lightly cooking it down, but what you're going to notice is I have freshly prepared beef, 
putting in the vegetables in the end so that you still have nutritional value from the garlic, from the ginger, from the cabbage, rather than cooking it down like a casserole and pulling it out three years, three hours and later. And it's all wilty and, and it's all okay. wilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now ask me why I do that. Why do you do that, John? Because for the last few years, I've been on the road cooking in schools across the country. Yes, you have. And so feeding kids scratch cooking with my partner, my employer, my company that I just adore, Taher Professional Food Management Company, they support me to go anywhere in the country, make great food for students. I love that. Because the truth is, for people like us, yeah. who, who we watch our calories, on Tuesday we'll eat pizza, yeah. on Wednesday we'll eat Japanese food, which is much more calorie conscious, conscious yeah. alle low allergen, and then tomorrow we'll have a burger. Exactly. With two pieces of cheese. Or chicken fingers. Or, or chicken whatever. fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, what do I need so to do So we now? have all of this here right now. Because Kendall literally, John, she is like, you know, when you see those nature documentaries yep. and you see the pride getting ready to pounce on the wildebeest, Kendall is literally over there watching this food. Yeah, okay. So I'm still at the point where you compared Kendall to an animal. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, sexy puma, thank you. Thanks. Sexy All right. puma. Redemption, redemption. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to scoop some of this on here. You have rice. You have four ounces of rice because nobody needs to be eating more. Do you know I did a little experiment? When I was staying in hotels, I ordered Japanese or Chinese. Chinese fried rice four times, all weighed over two pounds, and I ate all two pounds of it. Nobody needs to be eating two pounds of rice ever again. <laughs> it depends if you're having a bad day, but sure, John. Even yeah. on a bad okay, day. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Even okay. on a bad day. So I'm going to go ahead and load up. Come over here, Kendall. We have like 45 seconds. There you go. Go ahead and put pickles on. Okay. And you can use my tweezers. Okay. Some. Th th oh. These are pickles. Those are onions. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. There you okay. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pickles for Kendall. Okay. Oh, can you come back every day? Okay. Yes. What else now, John? Pickles. And then you're gonna put some onions and make it pretty with a radish wheel. Kendall gets pretty. So okay. There we go. Mm. She likes pickles. She does like. Well, I John, you told pickles. me to. I didn't want you yelling there you at go. me. Okay. There we go. There you go there's, for there's, you. Thank you. There you okay. go. I'm gonna hit yours with a little bit <laughs> of the hot sauce. There you okay. go. If you want spoon or chopsticks? I want spoon. I don't want to embarrass anybody. No, I want spoon. Go ahead and give it a try. Wait, before I okay. taste this, what was the compliment you got? I've been wondering. Oh, yeah, what time. is the compliment you got? Why I eat? Oh, you mean Chef Morimoto referred to me as the chef of integrity for the show? Oh! Hashtag chef of integrity. Take it away from me now. Just Ted, try. Just Ted, try to take it away Ted from me. Ted, change his graphic right now to chef of integrity. John Sigamora. Hey, really quick. Thank you. We do, no, no, no. We got to go. Will you quickly give a little tease you're working on something? Tell what you can tell. So this is what I can tell. I might be working on another operation here in the metro area. The, na the working name of it is Moshi Moshi, which means hello, friend. And so it's totally different, but right up my alley. Alley, Yokocho, alley food. Alley. This is a hit. Why is he hitting alley? Because I'm trying to lead you down the hit. path of the it. alley. I get it. Anyway, oh, oh, if I know. If it's not on a card, it can't help. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. No way now. None of the crew. None of the crew can laugh at that. And to commercial. <laughs> Give it up to for John, everybody. My buddy. Watch Morimoto's Sushi Master on the Roku channel right now. And follow him on social. We'll be he's the man of integrity. We'll be right back. This is good. Oh my god. I can imagine.